dudes with dreads. What's good, everybody? It's Coach Phil with Coach Phil Reacts, and I am back with another video. So, we got the West Final right here. We got BC. We got Winnipeg. I was in the building. The shit was crazy. Man, you just had to be there. The cold. The cold was whooping my ass. It was whooping everybody's ass. But at the end of the day, we got a great, great game out of it, man. Both games were classics between the East and the West. I called it, and I don't want to waste any time. I want to just get into it. So if this is your first time to the channel, run over there, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that jazz. We got membership. Join the membership. Click. And as well, we have t-shirts. It will be in the description box below and in the comment section for the Google form. So without any further ado, let's get to the video, y'all, because I, I just don't want to waste any time. Let's get it. All right, here we go. This is it right here, y'all. Man, it was damn near freezing. Everything hurt, but the environment was wild from jump. All right, now BC came out with the ball early, but look at the pressure early. Hold on, let me get a little smaller. I know my guy Taylor Hill is going to sit here and say something, so let me let me get small. Now we see early on right here, establishing the run. They got away from the run too damn early. This! All I had to say about this play was, What would you call that? I know, right? That's why I'm asking myself that same question, Phil. Like, why would you even call that? Why would you try to do some trickery like that? The only time you call trickery and stuff like that is when you already know you are outmatched and outclassed. You're doing too much. You're doing too damn much. Let's get back to the video, y'all, because this is frustrating. Won't work this time. Adams gobbled up from 48 to All right, we got a field goal right here. And that is up. And it is and it's just good. enough. Sneaks it in after the Sean White field goal will start on the And we already know who they're going to feed the rock to. First down and more. Second and 10. The undisputed field. MOP, man. I mean, look at this run. This season, he'll stand in behind Zach Kolaris. Oh, God. And, you know, I watching Brady run just hurts. I've been saying it all season. It hurts watching him run. Cross the middle. Why would you let him cross your face like that? This one. And he kept moving. From my vantage point, this is what I saw. Oh, got him. Oh, on a swivel. God damn it. And the only reaction I could really give was. <laughs> Just give the man the MOP. He he earned it. He earned it. Chad laid an egg. Vernon had the early, the early game of the season where there was too many interceptions. He was loosey-goosey. Zach was out a couple games. Who else you going to give it to? Give him the MOP, man. He, Brady, Brady deserves it. Absolutely deserves it, man. I, I, I just didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> Now watch right here. Watch him move. Boom. Cut. Boom. Cut. This is what makes him such a gifted running back. This is what makes Brady who he is. Even with the size that he's at, he moves gracefully. On a swivel, like AJ. But his swivel is a different type of swivel. You know what I'm saying? Now, they did everything to try to neutralize Janarian Grant. I was expecting him to just go off and just have a big return, but not yet. Maybe we'll see in the Grey Cup. Now, Ryan got him. You collapse on the run. Dempsey got rolling. Dempsey got rolling, man. Phenomenal. No AJ Styles. But what? Look at this. Look at this. Mm-mm-mm. Kolaris looking to pass this time. Has Kenny Lawler. Kenny. Wrapped up immediately by Gary Peters. In playoff he was giving so them fits. Career. Oliveira. Right up the middle. Another first down. 
I swear, that's what makes Brady great. Watch right here. Watch. Watch the run. He takes the contact, but he gets stronger and stronger and stronger every run. I have yet to see him have a game. Now that, that was good. Getting up field. Boxed him in. What I'm saying about Brady, man, is Brady just gets stronger every run, and that's what missed. This is what made him makes him a special Williams. running back. Now, right here, mm. he will be taken down no good, no boy, no. Now they were trying to stop this no huddle. The noise was just shut it down. The noise was deafening on every level. Jackson with the sack. One hand bull rush, inside hand. It's not easy. Vernon Adams from behind. Not easy. Got a punt right here. And blocked. <laughs> Block. Now he did run into the punter, but it's do you call it? Maybe, maybe not. Pick. Flag at the end of the play. Jackson with the hand up. Got his eyes on it that time and hauled it in. Way to track the ball, though. Way to track the ball. Because that could have gotten lost. They need eight more yards here. Right up the middle. Pressure. Kolaris trying to get away on the run. Throws it to the end zone. Now, if he would have caught that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Able to bat it away. Mmm, that was a great deflection. Yard attempt just inside the left Field goes up. And it's good. It now, here we go. I swear they, they were playing backed up most of the game, but that's a great catch. You know, I haven't really seen much from Rhymes, though. That, that was crazy. Vernon rolling. Oh, this was the Hail Mary. That's a doggone shame. They, that's, it, it, you know what? It happens. He deflected down. You're going to take a chance. Just go get the ball. All right, the game was now to eight. So I'm thinking in my head, all right, all they got to do is just get one on the board. Now he had it. Terry. They got away from the run. Has time here. They got away the from the doggone run, and this is what happens. Jackson. Jeff Coat is there again. Vernon Adams had time, but couldn't find anybody. Getting away from the, the run field. too much. You gotta have the run in the in the, in the game plan a little more on that. To his right. Maybe it would have made a difference. Who knows? But hold on, we we gonna pause this for a second. What I mean by that is, in 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 playoff time. Like in basketball, teams that are trying to go like the 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 like the fast pace up and down, you know, try to gas you in the game. That that it doesn't really work in the playoffs. It's more of half court sets. Whereas in in football, most teams that win win championships, whether it's Super Bowl, Grey Cup, National Championship, high school, state championship, whatever the case may be, they know how to run the ball. That is when your running backs shine the most is when they are in a playoff situation, man, because you're going to get the best from any defense. And unless you've got a once-in-a-generation offense that can just tear up the field, I mean, we saw what Atlanta did in the Super Bowl, 28-3. We've seen a lot of – I have yet to see over the years great a great offense win a championship. Most of the time, you see defenses step up and be the reason why they teams elevate themselves to a championship. But the time times have changed a lot, and even though like you really you need a running back, this is the time to use him. You got to use him, man. And I think that BC just kind of got a little bit away from using Taquan Mizell, and they tried to prove that hey, Vernon had a great game against Calgary. We gonna let we gonna live and die by Vernon's arm and. I, I, I just, I don't, I don't get it. And even sitting there watching, I was like, why are they not giving Mizell the ball? Now, 
You see where the weakness was. That the one thing that they, they did do was they they exposed him in between the tackles. That that was they had a couple good runs with Mizell. But the fact that Vernon has to scramble all over the place and try to make something happen proves, hey man, maybe we need to get we need to chip away at the yards. But you're only down eight. You're not down that much. Chip away at it and trust that your defense is gonna get him off the field. Now, would it have made a difference? I don't know. But my bets are I would have liked to have seen Mizell get the ball a little more. Polaris. That's just me. Time. Because you see what Outside Winnipeg did. Great, field. great throw by Zach. Winnipeg had a good, really good mixture of run and pass, also play action. I've always said their bread and butter, their core plays, they stick to them. Bang! Kitty! Well, we, we shouldn't be Just look at him. Anymore, Dustin. <laughs> Number 89 can come up. He got the elbow in. Mm -mm -mm. And I heard somebody at the game say that, oh, can he, real, can he realize that he's not a true number one receiver? That's why he came back into the pay cut and all that. That don't mean nothing to me, man. If Kenny's in the right situation, Kenny could potentially be a number one. But are you playing for stats or are you playing for rings? That's just how I look at it. Good luck. Mm. Great catch. Now, I know they lost Hatcher. I know they lost my guy Hatcher. So, hopefully, you know, his injury is not, was not too serious. I kind of heard different things about it, but I hope he gets better, man. Shout out to you, my boy. Willie! DDT! 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 Look at him. The DDT! <laughs> And he knocks it through. And it's good. All right, we got a punt right here. <laughs> if your offense ain't cooking, at least try to win the special teams battle. Terry tried to go to the where most. Yeah, the, I understand why they always want to run to where the most guys are. All right, Bernie, where you at? God damn! Mm, mm, mm. McKinnis and Katoy together. Keep them two together, man. Right. Lucky was quiet, too. Um. Sat, played it, stepped, and he... He gave it to him. Great play. Pass time. Mill butt naked open kitty. Flat. Now they gonna push the pile. Right, right, right. right. Got it. Got to break down, buddy. Second goal from the two. Brucott this time will keep it. That was a crucial stop. That was crucial for them. Watch. They didn't fall for it. They didn't crash. Stayed with it. That's discipline right there. That's discipline. For that, for that right there, go back. Let's go back real quick. Let's just take one more look at it. Now watch. Watch. Let's, let's just slow it up real quick. I know. Let's just look one more time. Let's just watch. Now watch right here. Now right here. He does crash, but these two have to stay. Even if he does crash... You still got these guys back here to sit and watch. They didn't bite on it. Boom. Now, you do have to respect with Brady. And but watch right here. Brady didn't pick up. Brady sold. Up. He shed the block. Third. And three guys. Three guys right here got there. Josh was there. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Close the gap. Oh. Everybody get in there and make a tackle. Great Four play. That, pay. that. That could have said that's the difference between all right, we're gonna force him to kick a field goal. We're down eight. We can live with that. We just gotta score and we gotta get two more on the board. We got the offense for it. Only eight minutes left. Let's move downfield and let's try. Let's 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 get on a drive. Let's get a solid drive. Now, if Pru Cup did score that, man, that hey, look, that's eleven. That, that's double the work. So I'm 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 hoping to 
it, it, in my mind, just thinking as like a, a, a play car, if I'm on defense, man, we that's the momentum that we need. But if I'm an OC, hey, man, get us the ball back and let's go to work. Keep him at a field goal. So that, that was good on uh, BC's defense part. That, that's really good. I like seeing that. And uh, let's get back to it. This will make it an eight-point game. Castillo. Very, very disciplined. In, in the fourth quarter, that's the discipline you need. And, and oh, that was, ooh, that looked like it was going out. All right, now all they got to do, eight points. I'm going to save one of my points for the end because it, it's very crucial. Crucial point. Kitty! Great. Oh. O'Shea called it. O'Shea threw it out there. In his face. If you just didn't touch, if you hadn't touched him, you would have gotten away with it. But you didn't even look at the ball. Even look like you're looking at the ball. You just were looking dead in the face and looking him dead in the face. And this field goal hurt. Because now. It's 11. 58 seconds. Gotta do something here. Oh, God. Last play. Let it fly. Got him and going to the Gorfo. I thought he was going to take it to the crib. All right, y'all. Let's get into our final thought. All right, y'all. So, this is the final thought right now. So, being at the game, I saw things, even just watching back here on the highlights, man, the highlights just don't do justice for the 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 game that Winnipeg played. It was flawless. Flawless game. I can't really remember a lot of like moments where Winnipeg stalled out on offense or their defense didn't step up. Um, other than the Hail Mary, you know, a couple things here and there just tightened up. I think that they played as bet the one of the best games they've played in a while, man. This this show a lot of people that and to me a lot showed a lot of people that they still the big dogs and rightfully so they won the west foregone conclusion i was expecting a lot from bc on their side um the biggest thing i think that got away from them was um getting away from the run as you can see they didn't really run the ball that much it was it was a lot of just vernon trying to make they were trying to force vernon to make throws but they have my there and if you in and I felt like they were afraid to get stopped at the, in the trenches. They have a solid line. Let them, let them force their will and let them take a stance and let them show that they can set up the run for them. Whereas with Winnipeg, they established the run early and was like, "We here. We gonna move you. We gonna we gonna do these zones. We gonna inside zone. We gonna do outside zone. We gonna be here. We gonna be there. We gonna show you that we can run the ball and we are gonna impose our will." in the trenches and then after that we're gonna throw the ball on you and we're gonna have kenny go get it rashid wartarski we've got and dimsky we got weapons and if you want to stop them we got mo on the bench we can mix it if you really want us to go in our bag we can get deep into it if you want to so that to me and and one last thing that's very very important i i thought about it even after the game and I was I was talking with some coaches um, from the University of Manitoba uh, shout out to them and I was talking to the head coach of Dakota High School uh, my man Mitchell shout out to you Mitchell we were talking and the, the one thing that they opened my eyes to was that the, you can call it say the game you can say the play calling you can say this you can say that but the veteran you need the vets the, the, the difference was the vets the experience there wasn't a lot of experience uh for BC as far as they got a lot of youth they're young they are if you really look at their team they're a young team from what from from what I understand they are a young team and they got time but but these are the moments where you, you got to capitalize and and you can't beat experience now you can sit there and be a young brash team and you can go do this and go do that you got a high flying offense you got a solid defense but 
you, you can't match experience. You gotta get, you gotta get, it's one of those things where it's, it's an on job, you gotta get experience on the job. That's what I'm trying to say. Sorry for flustering my words, but you get what I'm trying to say. To get experience, you gotta get it on the job. And for a lot of them, this was their first time. Some of them, it was returned to the playoffs from, from some of the guys from last year. You gotta get more. And these are the moments that you learn on the job. And whether you maximize that opportunity or you take a step back, you're still learning. And what you do with that experience, it's on you. So I hope with BC, I really like what they have there. And taking what they had when they had Nathan Rourke and then getting Vernon on the same page and Vernon taking this offense to a whole nother level. I know last year with Nathan, it was exciting. It was Kid Canada, you know what I'm saying? But Vernon, it's more of a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a sexy offense when it's cooking. When it's cooking, it's sexy. But when it's stopped, it's a boogaboo. And if you don't know what a boogaboo is, I'm fixing to teach you. A boogaboo is somebody that you would be like, oh, God, like that. Like, ugh. Like the Toronto game. Ugh. That was a boogaboo game. So, win, lose, or draw, I'm happy to see what BC did. I'm happy they got this far. They got a lot of pieces. And the only place they can go was up. Now, Winnipeg, hats off to them. I tip my hat to them, man. Shout out to everybody on the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Willie, Jackson, Demario, Janarian, Zach, Kenny, Rashid, uh, Brady, Adam Big Hill. Hey, Adam, prayers for you, brother. I hope you get better, man. And, you know, see you next season, man. Uh, all the guys on Winnipeg, man. Yoshi, Stanley, you know, everybody, all the dogs. Shouts out to Coach O'Shea, Michael O'Shea, man. Going to foe. That's this. We may not see this ever again. Foe, and it would have been five. It had not been for doggone CV19. But that had been five. But to go to foe and only drop one because last year, man, this is something that you, you only dream of. And I am it's, it's very I was happy to be in attendance to be able to see a team clinch their fourth straight trip to the Grey Cup. And uh when you really think about it, long story short, y'all, um, being here from the States, you know, we saw New England go on their run. You know, when I was growing up, New England went to three and then they went to a couple more. But to see then then we saw the second half run, the second part of Brady's career, which was that phenomenal run. That you see only see it every blue moon, but to see this with Winnipeg. Man, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And uh, we got our matchup for the Great Cup. We got Winnipeg. And we got Montreal. Ne two teams that have never faced each other in the Great Cup. I'm very excited to, to be able to see this, watch this, and all that. Now, on the other hand, we did. Uh, I did address it on Twitter, y'all. Um, unfortunately, um, we want to wait till next year for uh, Great Cup. You know, some family stuff things that are going on whatever i gotta take care of that so uh i appreciate all the love support and everything y'all have done um i was hoping to end the tour on a very high note with the gray cup but you know family first things like that so i'm gonna do i do what i gotta do um all week long i'm gonna do a lot of like build up for the gray cup so i'm gonna do some videos checking out you know winnipeg's greatest uh playoff moments also montreal's greatest playoff moments uh best gray cup moments from them and also some great cup stuff on thursday uh heartbreaking moments from great cups and biggest blowouts and all that stuff like that so i'm gonna stay busy also wednesday i'm gonna be recording uh deep in the deep in the game segment with joshua woods linebacker for the bc Lions. i'm gonna have that one out thursday for y'all as well and we're gonna we're gonna do the great cup we're gonna watch it on sunday and uh shout out to everybody that's gonna be there all my people in the cfl family man i love y'all i appreciate y'all thank you so much for all y'all for making the tour what it was and we're gonna do it again next year east coast style and uh yeah so oh and one, one last thing one, one last thing uh as always continue to be great strive for greatness all that jazz and i do want to address one thing <laughs> I, I, I hear a lot of things about like the big time media people that cover the CFL who don't really like the content creators and they think that we're taking we're, we're, we're taking over and we're we don't know what we're talking about because we're not accredited or we don't have the credentials to speak on football and CFL stuff. Well, I got something to say to that. Just always remember, y'all. Drink a little McForty ounce and try the best we can. To
to patch the potholes that you guys have left behind. And also remember this. I'm the best there is, I'm the best there was, and I'm the best there ever will be, and you're going to find that out firsthand, son.